What's up my friends? Welcome on Travels Code channel. In this video we will solve the next problem from lead code. It's number 20, valid parentheses. So what do we have? We have a list of braces, open and brackets, open and closed. It's a string. How we can solve it? There are a few different options how we can solve this problem. In this video I will show you two of them. The first one is the most popular using stack for these brackets and second one it's using regular expressions. So let's start from the first one. The first solution is based on using stack. What does it mean? We will use stack for JavaScript is array. So we are going one by one by each bracket and if it's opening bracket we push this opening bracket to the stack. If it's closing the same bracket but closing, we pop previous one from the stack. And for example for this case for the third bracket we will have empty stack. And uh, always when we have opening bracket then if we have closed we remove this part from this pair from stack. In case we have opening brackets and then we have closed but from another one so we can't remove this duplicate and in the end we will have not empty stack. So in case we have empty stack it means that all brackets were valid and everything is great but if we have not empty stack we will get error and we will know that it's error. So let's solve it. So first of all we need to create pairs of these brackets. It's object and for opening it's a key we will have closed value the same for all other so now we have these pairs and uh, the next one we need the other stack It's our result, we will save it here and then just for we need to go step by step and compare this current value of the string with opening braces. So let's do it. We need just if something needs stack push as I this symbol else the stack pop. Or let's first of all let's pop then push and in the end we need the return stack length. So if length will be zero, we know that stack is empty and all parentheses are valid. In other case, we will have error. So and the most important, what do we need? So we need to compare current si, current character, if, so right now we are comparing each character. For the first one, it's opening, we need to push it, on the first iteration we will push it to stack, but for the second iteration we need to check if this closing bracket, is it a pair for opening. So how we can do it? We have stack so we already have first item in our stack and we need to get the last item. So in our case 
as I mentioned before, we always save just opening braces, so brackets, and uh, we get the last one from the stack. It's, we get the last one, and uh, the last one should be opening. Then it's a key, so we need just get a value from this key. So now let's take brackets. So the last character is opening brackets. It's a key. Then we get closing brackets for this pair and if current one is this one closing then we can remove these opening brackets and that's it let's run it and one small mistake And now it works. As you see, we have result, and it's faster than 36 and half percent of JavaScript solutions. Okay, how we can improve this solution just a bit, for example? Okay, let's update this solution to do it a bit faster. So right now we don't cover any corner cases. For example, if we have such case when opening braces was square and then we have curly braces as a closing so we know that we don't need to go further because all this combination shows that it's a wrong string and uh, we can stop executing so let's update it so the easiest one if as i if we have So if it's opening braces, because of if it's so braces as i as i it's a, our current character and if for this character is if it's a key then it's meaning that it's opening. If it's opening we can get closing and it won't be undefined or null. So if we have this character and it's opening we just need the stack push as i. So we pushed the first character. Then else, else usually we could say stack pop. It's the easiest one because of usually if we are pushing something, it's opening, then should be pop to get to delete closing brackets. It's in the best case, but we have some corner cases which we need to cover. The first one, if stack In this case we cover the first case, for example, if we have the first character is closing brackets. For example, if we have for example, this one, it means that we skipped the first iteration, we didn't push it because of it wasn't opening and it means that everything else doesn't matter because of it's a wrong string. So if our stack was empty, we just return false and that's it, we don't need to go further. It's one corner case, then let's do it else. We move this tag pop here. Now let's save stack pop function method pop. It returns character from an array what was extracted. So let's save it. So now we saved this character and we need to check if. So we are getting the last character, what we extracted, and if it's opening one, so we check if current element, if it's not closing one, from that we, we extracted one, 
For example, we extracted op opening square bracket and we check if for this one, for opening we have closing character and we check if this one it's not current one, it's not closing. So we know that return false because of according to our approach if we didn't push element and if it's not zero stack length is it's not zero so the next one we need to extract the proper pop we need to extract the proper closing brackets if it's not a proper not a correct one it means that string is broken so we can just return false and that's it so let's take a look how it works So it works, it shows that it works slow, but anyway, it should work better. Now it's a bit better. So, and the, the second solution I will show you, it's using regular expressions. For this one, we do not need anything. So for using regular expressions, we can use this next approach. First of all, we need to create a regular expressions where we will exclude all pairs for each section. So as you see, we just excluding globally, removing all brackets, we will replace with empty string and we have temporal variable before. And we need to go again and again on this string to replace all left brackets. It will be an endless cycle and uh, So we reassign expression to before just to save it. Then we update it with replacing again all these pairs and we check if before while before isn't equal to expression, we are doing the same with replacing all characters. Let's run. And we forgot to return. expression length or even not expression if we some if we have something it means that it was not valid so here we see that we have two different regular expressions the first one we are checking from the beginning of the string the second one we check in the string inside And it was accepted. It isn't the fastest way, as you see, but anyway, it's possible way how you can extract and check all these brackets. So that's it. Thank you for watching.